What's going on YouTube? GSNO right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 12.1.3 all the way up to iOS 12.3.1. TFP0 has been achieved, a kernel bug with TFP0 has been achieved by Derek just a few hours ago and he posted quote got TFP0 on iOS 12.3.1 but the bug sucks and is quite unreliable. However, this is actually quite a good step forward, especially since bugs that give TFP0 or the kernel task port, in other words, are actually quite powerful bugs and they usually allow the creation of a jailbreak. You probably remember that Sparky, another developer in the jailbreak community, managed to jailbreak with Cydia the iOS 12.4 and iOS 13 beta 1 by using his own kernel exploit with TFP0. So once you have TFP0, things go very, very smooth. Now, there might be problems, for example, you might need to fix some offsets, you might need to find various offsets since they change from a version to another, and unfortunately, these offsets are required for the patches because you need to patch a specific structure and not the whole structure, but maybe an element of a structure at a specific address and so on. And in order to find that address, you need to be able to know the uh, offsets from the base of the structure or from a specific point in the structure to the element you're looking for. So, no. No, the uh, TFP0 is not all it takes in order to be able to create a jailbreak, but as you can see, once you have it, you can do very interesting things like get Cydia running on iOS 12.3.1 and of course 12.4, 12.1.4, 12.1.3. 12.2 and so on because usually this kind of bugs work on lower versions as well There is a small chance that the TFP0 bug only works on 12.3.1 and 12.3 But these chances are usually slim It usually is the case that when you have an iOS 12.3.1 kernel exploit with TFP0 It might as well work on lower versions like 12.2, 12.1.4 and so on It highly depends on whether the bug is only present in 12.3.x or it's been there for a while but you found it on the latest version because currently if you check it out iOS 12.3.1 is signed and iOS 12.3 and 12.3.1 are the only versions signed for the moment so yeah it makes sense to try to find a bug in the latest version because that would basically be a zero day until you tell Apple about it and they patch it but yeah very very good achievement there it got TFP0 and as I said once you have TFP0 or the kernel task port what you're able to do is to pretty much apply the patches that you want to modify the kernel memory and to read the kernel memory, which is actually what it takes to be able to do most of the jailbreak patches. Now, keep in mind, most, not all of them, especially on the A12 devices, TFP0 may not be all it takes to be able to create a full jailbreak. And we've seen that with the iOS 12 jailbreak for the A12 devices. It took a while to be created and it took a while to be released. And for a good reason, the A12 devices, that being the iPhone XS, XS Max and XR, and the newer iPad Pros, they have a newer ARM chip with PAC or point authentication codes which may make exploitation harder but once you have TFP0 it's usually much much easier to apply the patches and to build a bare bone jailbreak from which you can develop it further and of course create a proper jailbreak with Cydia or Cilio and so on. So yeah pretty good achievement I have no idea whether it's going to be released or not but if it is going to be released it's very likely going to be released only after iOS 12.3.1 is no longer signed or only after Apple patches it in the newest version which happens to be iOS iOS 12.4 beta for now. So yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. By the way, iOS 13 public beta has been released for the general public if you want to check it out. Though if you're interested in jailbreaking, I do not recommend it. But anyways, it's been released by Apple today, so check it out. Yeah, thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Until next time, peace out.